Hey, Witcher, I missed you so much over these last few days. It's been literally like four days since I beat you. I, I, could, I don't know what I was going to do without you. Alright, so guys, Hearts of Stone, the first expansion pack, the one that's supposed to be 10 hours long, just came out for Witcher 3. I think the 20 hour expansion comes out sometime early next year, I think they said. Probably going to be a, wait, a longer wait for that one because it's supposed to be like twice as long. But anyway, they thought ahead here because. Uh, whenever you get an expansion for these kind of open-world RPGs, there's always the question of, like, when do I play it? How do I get it? And they just immediately explain this. And basically the summary is that you can either start from scratch, just play the game for, as, as a new character, and as soon as you finish the prologue, it gets added to your quest log. Or if you play any game, load up any game that's already past the, the prologue, then it's already going to be in your quest log. In both cases, yeah, they recommend doing it at, your, at level 30 or higher, because that's the range that the quest is made for. Otherwise, this, they actually added a Hearts of Stone only option where you just, if you don't have a character you want to use for some reason, but you bought this content, they want to make sure you can play it. So you literally just go click on Hearts of Stone on the menu and they'll give you a level 32 character to play as. So that's kind of cool. I assume that's this thing down here. Nope, I can't click on it down there. All right. I assume if I hit new game or something, it would then bring up Hearts of Stone if I want to pick on that. But anyway, let's get back to my character as was working, as it was a work in progress. Oh, hello. This whole start menu is different, isn't it? Yeah, I used to be on a cliff. Now I'm looking all... I'm looking all scarred up and unfortunate, and there's a creaky gate. This is a new start screen. New quest, a mysterious passenger. I assume that's going to be it. Hearts of Stone, thank you for purchas purchasing Hearts of Stone expansion. Your, cur your currently tracked quest has been changed to the first quest of Hearts of Stone. Yeah, we only recommend... Starting it if your character is at least level 30. Have fun and good luck on the path. Quest completed, the Nilfgaardian connection. What? Uh, rune rite. While, uh, uh, while playing the Hearts of Stone expansion, you can encounter a rune rite marked as this book icon on your map. In this new craftsman, the only of his kind, comes from a far off land and can use his arcane knowledge to, to considerably improve your, impr your equipment. Seek him out and see for yourself. So I think he just started saying some quests were completed. Anyway. Uh, for those of you that don't know, when you finish Witcher 3, it just kind of dumps you in this open world. Right back in Kaer Morhen where you left off. Uh, there's usually some pretty final things happening when the credits roll as far as what Geralt's fate is and where he is now. So this doesn't fit with that. So I think we're meant to assume that anything you play after the credits is just like, you know, a forgotten chapter. Any more open world stuff you want to do to clean up. It's just something that was not mentioned the first time around, but something he totally did before all the stuff happened with Siri and the actual ending happened. That's what I'm going to assume, and I'm going to assume this entire expansion takes place, you know, somewhere in the quest to find Siri at some point, maybe. So if, if any of you are new around here looking for Hearts of Stone content, hey, fill you in, I'm Keith. Nice to meet you. I play Western RPGs a lot, and sometimes Japanese RPGs, and sometimes stuff that just has swords and magic. It's sometimes stuff that has, nothing, has none of those things. <laughs> uh, you can click on the description, the playlist, to actually find the rest of my playthrough. Otherwise, let's get started. They want me to check this notice board. Wanted. Cradle. Used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgaard von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. And so the journey starts innocently enough. We also have a bunch of random details around here. Contract monster in the sewers. Let it be known that Ulgrid von Everick shall pay a generous reward in gold, jewels, and movable goods subject to negotiation to any man who descends into the Oxenfurt sewers and kills the beast which has infested them and taken to murdering the innocent. With an especial pre uh, predilection for young maids, the task is best suited for a battle-hardened individual, a soldier, or possibly a witcher, who will not run at the sight of drowners, or for the sewers are chock full of such nuisances. Drowners, I got that, no big deal. For more information, inquire at the Garen Estate to the northeast of Novigrad. Ask for Algred von Everick. Let's see, rune. Oh, hey, there's, there's a rune right. 
And some long, kind of long stuff. All right, rocking horse for sale. Like new, practically never used rocking horse for sale. Made of beech wood and oak runners. Slight scratch on the rear leg. Metal stirrups included as, uh, if desired. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? Deal of a lifetime. I am willing to trade the, a, a lovely tin pot painted with cornflowers and lilies and showing a few holes true, but there's a plus. You can add a few more and look at that. You've got a, col a colander for a cart. Uh, the cart needn't be big, can even be tiny in fact, just so that two or better four people can fit in it, with ample room for bags and sacks if possible. Could be old, long as it rides well and has new wheels and strong axles. So actually, probably nothing made lo longer than a year or two ago would do. Leave a message with the uh, Bodhi. That person has some questionable expectations. This is bottom one. Wanted cradle, used but unworn. Uh, looking to buy a cradle in good repair but cheap for a lass or for a lad. No knowing as of yet what the wife will pop out. Made of oak, preferably, but pine will do, long as it's strong and pretty, because the wife don't like cheap-looking stuff. Best if it were painted with flowers, but I don't really care much. Could be bare, in fact, and I'll paint it myself. Could do that much, show the woman that she didn't marry some good-for-nothing skaver. So, if <laughs> this person's just writing stuff that they should just be thinking as an aside and, and not be actually writing down while they go. <laughs> so, if you've got something like that, I'd gladly buy it, or even more gladly take it off your hands for free. Josie. There's a rune right, so a rune right upon your shores has landed. To my fellows from the world's other bosom, vast seas have I crossed to reach th this your most fascinating land, to learn the names of the animals which in it dwell, of the plants which in it grow, and most of all, its folk. Ravenous waves devoured the tools of my art, yet the rune right's labor does not with his hands end. For Endlessly, for he endlessly strives the world to explore, its mysteries to comprehend. Thus, if you wish to stay a while and converse with a traveler from far off, off, uh, off air, I invite you to my tent, which I have pitched a, by a mill near the village named Brunwich. Praised be the world in its never-ending creation. Stay a while and listen. Need a, bo need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. The matter is a delicate one, so I ask any potential candidates to maintain discretion. My friend found him, herself a man, and they're set to get married soon. Problem is, I have no bow of my own to take to the wedding. If any intelligent, amusing, handsome, none too old nor too young, not young, none too young man, owing at least one decent-looking uh, frock or robe, is interested in accompanying me to her wedding ceremony and the feast to follow, I'd be most thoroughly obliged. In exchange, I can offer a few hours of good fun and good conversation with a lass that dances with her best of, with the best of them. Alcohol will be provided. A bashful anonymous beseeching an escort. P.S. If you're counting on taking me straight from the feast to the alcove, be warned I'm a graduate in the ladies' self-defense courses put on by Redenian Army. But make a good impression, and I might agree to let you court me properly. So we have startup costs. I'll look into that a little bit later. That's the rune right situation. But definitely want to look into the actual quest here. Evil's soft first touches. And so we've traveled from the Seven Cats Inn all the way up to this abandoned hut. This isolated hut over here. I might as well show the journey over here because there seems to be a whole corner of the map that we haven't actually explored yet. If there's anything I've learned from the Witcher, it's not safe to go on and not be recording while running through new territory. Because this game loves to just throw things at you as a surprise. There are a number of high-level quests we haven't done yet in, in the original series. Hello. Hello, surprises. Uh, crap. Alright, well, that the thing that I said would probably happen seems to be happening. You're level 33. Alright. Hey, buddy. Just gonna put some holes in you real quick if you don't mind. Oh. Nice try. Got any archers back here? I should fo I need to focus on them. There, there he is. Nope. Gotcha. Oh, you got a big hammer guy over there, huh? He looks menacing. I prefer not to deal with him. Whoop. Gotcha. Just be efficient about this and clean. Oh, he's trying to stun me. Excuse me, sir. Doesn't quite work on fire. Oh, he's got a big old hammer. Look at him. He's adorable. And dead. Smelling like cooked meats and all that. 
There we go. <laughs> you were a lot safer behind that shield. All right, we had a surprise bandit out out outcrop already. Area liberated. There we go. The game basically immediately did the exact thing I was talking about. Do I want to, do I want to bother with looting all these guys? It's got chicken sandwich. <laughs> I don't think I want to bother with all these. The regular soldiers stopped having interesting stuff a long time ago. But yeah, as I was starting to hint at, uh, there's a lot of open world stuff I didn't finish yet in our main playthrough. And I f so any of that might come up over the course of this one. But we'll definitely be going through this main story. I might do a follow-up series where I'm like, well, DLC is all done, and the main story is all done, but uh, there's still more open-world stuff to do. I guess we'll just keep finding more of that. I won't... Was that path? Uh, I guess we're just gonna go through the trees now. <laughs> Lost track of which path we were following for a moment there. It's fine. Straight lines the fastest and all that. Monster net nest. Excuse me, spiders. I'll liberate a town, but I don't feel like dealing with a monster nest quite this moment. Maybe later. Alright, Roach, you stay here with all the spiders. I'm gonna not be able to climb a small ledge. Alright. Garen Estate. I heard you had a monster. Anyone here? What if the monsters own the place and they actually sent out the notice? Fun surprise. Nope, they seem like actual people. They're called Wild Ones. Can kiss me down there. Not what you usually expect from a, uh... From an estate. Hi, oh, mate! Your mug's not familiar! What is it you want? Looking for old Geard von Everick. Ah! That'll be inside! Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The Wild Ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geard von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother! <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> you folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geard von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved a long pike up your ass? <laughs> 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 all right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to old Geard. Are those stairs old Geard? Is that where this is going?
What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Ogird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you... Thought he was done. <laughs> I thought he was done talking. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, oh, the Kaviri School. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgierd, long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. He's the only one that doesn't have that one Fallout 3 haircut. Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. This some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubby. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Tradiciana. <laughs> <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with a sister or cousin. Matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fert sewers. And you know women... Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? <laughs> Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me his head, and the reward shall be yours. Interesting. We're still sticking to kind of straightforward... Hey, all geared. We're still sticking to relatively straightforward Witcher contract type uh, scenarios. But of course, this is the beginning of some kind of story. So I'm waiting for a twist. Hey, you! Hoss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Papers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. 
then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabres. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days passed, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. All right, another detail. Rose on a red field. So we, we want to go to the Oxenfurt sewers and we want to go to red field. Might as well investigate this since uh, apparently I'm apparently I'm gonna go meet her in Oxenford anywhere, which is where I'm going anyway. Singing, hey, nutty, nutty, hey, witcher, how about joining our band? You having fun there? Let's go off. Can I just scale the wall? Is that an option here? <laughs> oh, oh, it almost looked like I was gonna do it. Not quite. Right, let's head on out. Where about is this uh, town? You pe you piqued my interest since apparently. Oh hey, is that where I just came from? No, it's up it's up north more so. All right, worth taking a look. Or see where'd you spawn? Roche. There you go. I'm interested because yeah, there's, there's apparently this person's not even confirmed dead. She just assumes that she's dead. He's dead because he didn't show up to a meeting. There's a lot of reasons why people could not show up. I mean, people half the people I've encountered in this game seem to be prisoners of some sort, or being possessed by a succubi, or a number of other things that involved censoring out nipples of, uh, ex lots of, lots of freaking recorded gameplay footage. <laughs> We've had our times. It got dark fast, by the way. I want to point out that when I decided to come here, I put the, I put the clock at, uh, like 8 o'clock in the morning. And now it's already 10 o'clock at night. What did I do? Did one of them knock me out when I wasn't looking? Alright, so I assume that the, that we're going to be doing a long quest chain or stuff of some kind with that guy. Because he's really developed as a character, but he just wants me to go kill some guy in a sewer. And that's usually not something that's worth developing that kind of character. Alright, we immediately have... a bunch of corpse eaters. Howdy, y'all. Ow. Rude. There you go. You burn like a good old bunch. Regenerate my stamp, my shield. He got his, he got his hidden. That's not, that was not my intention. Oh, hello. I see you over there. Did I get you? Nope. Now I did. So we need to investigate for clues about the murder. Are we still? Surely we don't still think there's a murder when it's covered in these things everywhere. I would say that's the real reason why he's not here. It's because it's covered in monsters. I don't, I don't think murder's the right word at that point. My script, my controller was just vibrating. Huh. Hey, ghoul. Just want to take care of you now before you sneak up on me. He didn't even notice me. I'm, si I'm sitting here spewing out my, my fancy magics, and he can't even bat an eye at me. Hey, buddy. Just a quick execution from time to time. It's really handy having that spell. You can pepper in both magic and attacks, and it works out just fine. Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. What is cooking indeed? Something over here? Oh, did the... Did the smell stop right here at the path? Maybe it goes further into town. It's always the smells that are the hardest to follow with the camera. Where does it lead to? Uh, where'd it go? Here? Ish? 
Or did it stop again? This door? Yep, yeah, so, yep, in this window. There we go. Is there a love potion? Someone get want whisked off? Oh, creepy cages. That's always a good sign. Of... <sighs> they were cooking fist tech. Took most of the equipment. Only left what was broken. All right. They said he was a fist tech dealer, so that makes sense. And I'm, I assume that the ghouls were involved in them being gone. Truth Warning true letter. can be dangerous trade narcotics. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Yeah, probably all the net. They probably went out the window when all the uh, ghouls showed up. Would be my assumption. Tends to ha happen when a town gets overwhelmed with monsters. Let's check out the note. As it loads each page one by one. Contract monster in the sewers. Rune right. Warning letter. Clue. Uh, clue Verit. Mate, you gotta keep your eyes peeled wide open. Someone's taken an interest in our in your work. They want to make you an offer you're not gonna be able to refuse. In your shoes, I'd pack up and go hide somewhere far away. Zarakania, for example. Roderick. Interesting. So we actually have a suggestion that they were running away for business reasons. Could the ghouls be unrelated? Could the ghouls have moved in after everyone else, uh... Maybe the ghouls moved in after the, ta the area was abandoned. Or maybe the ghouls are a random occurrence that has nothing to do with the actual quest. I'm going to assume we want to go check the outside of the window to see if we can follow the tracks. There we go. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Makes sense. Oh, here we go. That leads somewhere. So we're going to find a body or a camp. Uh-oh, is it wrapping back through town? Because that'd be a bad sign. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. So they had to stop for line of sight reasons, perhaps? To not get spotted? There they are. They cut through the broken fence. Oh, got a body. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert, bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Huh, so much for the monsters. So someone in this direction shot a bolt. Is there evidence of where they could be? There's more footsteps. It's a murder investigation. There's something a little different. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. All right, and they went this way. I always forget you have to reset the Witcher sense to make new steps show up after investigating. If you just keep holding it down, you'll stand there just staring at nothing. All oh, right, pack right past through. I walked through. What if there, what if these were my footprints? It's like now I'm following my own foot trim, my own footprints. Oh, looks like this person. I was gonna say maybe this person fought the ghouls I've encountered, but it looks like horse prints. Hoofprints, leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. There they go. Might as well grab some materials from the ghoul. Let's see, this might take a little while. Oops. So let's get back on the horse. Because this could actually be more of a path to follow. Alright, up we go. Can I go any faster while also being in Witcher Sense? Yes, I, yes I can. Bye guys, I'll fight you later. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll find you one day. Someone will have a contract out for you. But I'm on business. So let's head up to the hills. Easy enough to follow. Oh wow, you can actually move really quickly while still in Witcher Sense mode! But not be able to react in time. When something changes, here we go. Oh! Hey guys, uh... Oh, please get off the horse. Please get off the horse. There we go. Oh, goodness. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Just gonna put some holes in your friends for a second here. It's so handy from a standing, being able to stun people perspective. They're shooting bolts my way. Not a fan. Not a fan. Join me to the join the dock side. There we go. Now that he's on my side. That'll open me up to a little bit more of a better situation. 
Oh. Watch out. Ow, dick. Ow, dick. Well, that was an dir interesting direction to go flying in. Uh, they, they're not on my team anymore, are they? Alright. Burn. That'll finish off the guy that was almost dead. There we go. That's another weakened character. Where's the other archer at? Oh, did I, am I burning him on accident? Alright. Well, you're the only one left, so you're easy. You're an easy target for mind control. Who's he swinging at? Oh, nice try. It is fun to have complete control of the situation. Oh, he's not on my team anymore. You didn't attack anybody during that time. I'm disappointed in you. Come on, buddy. Come into my nice little slow-mo circle. It'll end really well for you. As it often does. This is for not being a good enough mind control target. There we go. So what can you guys tell me about what happened here? Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh! That's important. That's probably his cart. Orders to attack Bowden. Oh. So they went they went and attacked that town? Probably. Maybe that's why it's covered in ghouls and noticeably lacking any actual people. Orders to attack Bowden. I've heard rumors the abandoned village of Bowden's abandoned no more. A pack of common bandits has moved in and made it their own little fist tech manufactory. So the moment those people left, there was no more town anyway. Okay. We cannot allow this. I'm issuing the order to attack the village and, and exterminate the vermin. We'll make an example. Strike some terror in everyone's hearts. Haul any equipment or supplies to our lab northwest of Brunvik. Destroy everything else, Ulrich. Alright, Ulrich. You've gone and made a mess, haven't you? Someone's not going to be very happy to hear the news at all. Alright, so we need to investigate the Fallen Knight's lab to the northwest. Come on, horse, keep up. We're going on a we're going on a road trip. It's going to be so exciting. Oh, those those horses better learn to take off at some point because they don't got anyone coming for them now. Lots of local arachnids around here. They're welcome to continue in peace for now. They're not close enough to civilization to actually cause anyone problems right now. And I can't be the single- I can't single-handedly exterminate every potentially hostile race. Hey guys! Bye! <laughs> I guess I could fight them, or I could just keep going right past them towards the thing that they might be guarding. Kinda lost the road at some point though. Whoops. Bandits will do that to you. Good thing Roche takes- Roche takes trees like a- like a champ. Can I, can I- I can't move anymore? Oh! Am I floating now? Roach, are you floating again? Alright, let's just go ahead and hop on up here! Alright, we're fine. It's cool. Everything's clean. Alright, we found ourselves into the Fallen Night camp, guys. I think I'm gonna continue this in part two, guys, so thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time, and just go ahead and go into the description, click that, that playlist, and you'll be able to find part two, and-, uh, and I guess if you're here really early, part two might not be up yet, but it's probably already up by the time you're watching this, especially if you've watched this whole episode from front to back. And the rest of the plays, the rest of the uh, series will be going in that playlist as they go up. See you guys next time.